Turkey press to continue to see Sabina E's question, which is, how long does it take to bake bread in the bread maker? Which okay. is not on display here. That's why I wanted to go in the first place to the other kitchen. Uh, There's the bread maker. We kept you away from the chef, Patrice. We kept you away from the chef because we know that you would have, uh, you would have probably taken over because I know you're a bit of a, you like a bit of cooking yourself. Yeah. So, uh, no, the bread maker um, gives you a c quite a few options. Um, the great thing about the bread maker is it, is it doesn't just cook your normal traditional white or brown or granary loaves. Exactly. You have, you have lots, of, yeah, lots of different options on the bread. But if you did take a normal uh, brown, white or granary loaf, um, you have a choice. Okay? You can do a four-hour long bake. Okay? So it, it takes the four hours. Um, or you can do a rapid bake, which will take two hours. So you can um, cook a loaf from... from flour, yeast and water, or from a bread mix, from, no from nothing, to full-on bread served with butter and jam on it in two hours. Or you could do it, because I have a bread maker myself. Do you? Yeah, it's, it's kind of embarrassing, but I really have most of the home appliances here. But in an older model, it's, and what, what was it possible to do is like you just could put everything all together yes. and then use the timer. So yes. by the time that you got up, Absolutely. everything is done. So yeah. no matter two or four hours. Yeah. If you wanted to have um, hot bread for breakfast um, and you, you were all planning to have family breakfast at 8 o'clock, you could put the bread maker, set the bread maker to come on at 4 o'clock right. in, uh, in the morning. You would make sure that you would have a barrier between. Uh, what I mean by barrier is you wouldn't put all the, the ingredients in together. So you would raisins, for example, need to be put yeah, in this we'll extra. Yeah, we'll come onto that. Yeah, we'll come onto that in two seconds. With the actual bread, um, you would have to have a barrier between the yeast and the water. If you have the yeast and water together, they will start reacting straight away, and it will start to re the enzymes will start re reacting, and it won't rise so much. So uh, with the times, you will need to have um, a barrier. So you would have to have the flour. So you put the water in. The, or the uh, yeast in, the flour in, and then the, uh, the, the liquid at the top. So yeast, flour, water, or the opposite way around, water, uh, flour, yeast. But as long as there's a barrier between the water and the Will yeast. Will the uh, barrier maintain until it's going to yeah, be mixed? Abs absolutely, will do. Or y what you can do, you can opt for the uh, top of the range model, uh, which has a yeast dispenser. Now, it actually will dispense the yeast at the correct time in the cycle to ensure that you get that perfect rise with your bread. That's so what the new latest yeah, model Yeah, the does? latest model has a yeast dispenser. The one that comes in aluminum? Uh, it comes in stainless steel, yeah. Stainless steel, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. But ah. you, you made a very good point about uh, raisins because um, on two of the models, um, we have a raisin and nut dispenser. Um, on the, the, uh, the basic model, we ha the, when through, the through the cycle, through the program, if you need to put your raisins in or your nuts in, the device will beep, okay? So it indicates to you that you actually have to open up the lid and put in your, your nuts or your raisins in. The reason why you have to do that uh, rather than chucking in at the beginning is at the bottom of a bread maker, there's uh, paddles that go around. It will chop up the, uh, the raisins or the nuts into very, very fine specks, okay. so, and they will all be in the bottom of the bread. And also, again, the enzymes within the, uh, the nuts and the, uh, the raisins will start to react with the yeast, and again, you won't get a perfect rise in your bread. Um, so having a nut and raisin dispenser, you, all you need to do is put your nuts and your raisins into the dispenser, and rather than it beeping, it will, do, it will automatically just drop the nuts and raisins in at the perfect time so you get that wonderful fruit loaf or nut loaf that you might want to have. Just the way that I prefer it. And uh, now, Sabina, uh, apparently you just uh, heard there are lots and lots of ways of making bread, and therefore it depends yeah. how long it's going to take in between two up to four yeah, hours. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you can make anything for, and you might even want to just choose to just make the dough. And you see, you, you can, uh, there's programs where you just make the dough, and then you can go and you can freeze it and then take it back and bake it at a different time. Mm. Um, you don't have to do um, a bread from start to end in one program. You can spit it up if you wanted to. Um, you can also make things such as uh, pizza dough, uh, croissants, uh, French breads. Um, obviously, the French bread doesn't come out, Patrice, in one long stick out of the bread maker. It comes, it comes in the dough, you roll it out, and then you can put it into the oven and, uh, and to, and to cook, cook it. So it gives you lots and lots of options. And all of a sudden, this has become like a cooking show. <laughs> with some advices. Sabine E, this has been your answer. Continuing with the next one.